Hello everyone, and welcome to my review of Braid. Braid, as you can see, is a 2D platformer, two-dimensional platformer. They are rather painterly art style. Concept of paintings is um, sort of explained, or I mean, uh, made important with the puzzles, which I will explain in a minute. The story is this. Tim is off on a search to rescue the princess. She has been snatched by a horrible and evil monster. This happened because Tim made a mistake. What if our world worked differently? Suppose we could tell her I didn't mean what I just said. And she would say, it's okay, I understand. And she would not turn away, and life would really proceed as though we had never said that thing. We could remove the damage, but still be wiser for the experience. By the way, if in case you haven't guessed, this is the, um, the MacBook version, uh, which is available on the App Store. If you go over to the App Store and search it up, over here. Uh, as you can see, it's still 50% off, so that's nice. Uh, perhaps for a limited time. And as you can see, there's a flagpole there, and, and yet another Super Mario Bros. reference with the uh, dragon at the end of each world, telling you that the princess is in another castle. And another Mario reference here, with a Jumpman stage. However, this game is not simply just incorporating 2D platformer elements and references here and there with a nice little story to boot. It is not simply that for... Oh, and of course there's the uh, puzzle piece collection which is uh, required to finish the game to find the last world now let's say you get bitten by one of those head things by pressing shift you can reverse time and then put it forward to see your progress. Now, incorporating these and other time manipulation techniques, such as um, just exit the current world, exit the current world. So, yeah, you collect the puzzle pieces and you flip them around and put them together to set up these pieces which sort of helped to explain the story and there's a bathroom you know in the bathroom now the levels of braid are actually um, can actually be rather similar to each other such as here this one is the pit it incorporates the timeless objects, the, I think they're called, um, I don't know, un, 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 unreversible, I think. And in this world, which is, or chapter 5, there is yet again a level named The Pit, but this time, this world incorporates this element, the use of shadows, which can be used to um, in interact with the environment while you do the same, or while you do different things to it. 
So that's basically what Braid is. Putting the puzzle pieces together provides you with the reward of finishing this ladder. As you can see, there are different colored parts of the ladder, signifying parts that are finished by the world. And there's this, chapter one. So, as you can see, each chapter incorporates a new kind of time manipulation um, mechanic, as you could call it. So, this game ten is rather interesting. If you have a MacBook, you should definitely get it on the Mac App Store, as it is, I'm guessing it's still 50% off for a while. And uh, you can also get it on the Xbox 360 Arcade, and I think also the PlayStation Network, I'm not quite sure. But yes, that's it for this review of Braid. Goodbye.